That's a big crappie. That's a big crappie. It's a big crappie. Oh, there I am. Now yep. I'm above it. Yeah. Hold it right there. Right there. And just a hair. That's a big crappie. Oh my god. If he bites, dude, it's a picture of fish. I'm telling you. Oh, I can't believe I'm on him. And he's not biting. I believe it. I've been on him all week. And he's biting. That is a whale. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. You got him. I do got you him. You got him. I told you, dude. I do got you him. You got him. <laughs> Sorry, you really meant. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a damn That's whale. Awesome. I probably better grab him. Yeah. <laughs> I told you the whale. <laughs> dude, thank you. Big, big, Enid Lake Crappie. You didn't tell me they were that big in here. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish, nice fish. There you got one. Woo! I'm done. I'm done. Oh my God! Look at that big Whoa. old crop. Look at that. Let me see that fish. Uh, is that on the TR series? Oh my! Look at that. Look at gosh. that new TR series. I can't even get him in the screen. Look at that big old fish. You got him. He's a good one too. All right, all right. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah, I see it going into the tree. He's moving. Oh, He's moving. Oh, God. God. And you can see him actually coming up. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, Jeff. You think he's been laying in there? Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. See those fish that pushed off the side of the bed right there? Yeah. Here, the here, the crop is on the outside. One limb sticking out over there. That's where you move it right And a lot of times those bigger fish will suspend on the outside. There it might be going down right here. Yeah. Yeah. See if they even react. We gotta come Whoa. over to it. Oh, they reacted pretty good. They like that cover. <laughs> that simple. Nicely done. Great job. All right. They can't resist those trout magnets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove all the small ones so Kirby can catch a big one. Cause I've seen him fish. He struggles a little bit. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my gosh, look at that tank! Oh my goodness gracious. Oh man, that's my first big, big Mississippi crappie. That is a slam. Picked it off with the uh, Butler Gold. Butler Gold. Man, I love Enid. Mom, Mom honey, <laughs> wife, I might not be leaving. What we're gonna do is try a little uh, washing here and uh, this Allegro Tennessee whiskey is my favorite. For doing that, I'm gonna put some in the bowl, I'm gonna wash the filet, and we're gonna dip it right in the cornmeal, right behind the wash, and uh, see what you think about it. Now what kind of cornmeal do you have? The cornmeal happens to be 50-50 Jiffy and white cornmeal mix. How, how, what's your favorite way of cooking? Fried, of course. Fried, from oh, the south. Yeah, you're from the <laughs> south. Right, give, so, us, give us a trick or so, a uh, tip. So old John Godwin oh, yeah. showed me and told you this Chef, Chef God, there you go. Yeah. There you go. So you roll them in mustard, uh -huh. the fillets. Okay. And then what we do is take uh, self-rising flour. Okay. Salt and pepper to yeah. taste. Of course, you know in Louisiana, they'll eat it as hot as you can make it. Yeah. I don't like mine that hot. Yeah. But salt and pepper to taste. And then take the, the fish fillets that were lathered in mustard. Uh -huh. Put them in the, in the flour and then fry them. Okay. Brown. It makes the crust. It actually is not as greasy as cornmeal to me that I found. Really? So, uh, but they're really good like that. You know what we're going to do tonight, Kirby? Have a fish fry? We are. I am going to take these crappies. I'm going to cut them in long strips about an inch wide. Yeah. About four or six inches long. Yeah. I'm going to bat them in the beer batter. Okay. Fish tacos. Ooh, fish tacos. I love yeah. it. Gonna fry them up. What's the secret recipe? Uh, well, other than frying, which is hard to beat, uh, we have uh, gotten into. We'll take the crappie and and lay them on a uh, baking dish. Uh, excuse my kitchen terms. I don't know the name of it, but we'll lay them in there and uh, season them with Tony's or whatever. Uh, Saturonis? Yeah, just whatever, you know, uh, lemon and and season them with that and uh, take uh, Rotel, uh, canned Rotel, the little tomato looking things, pour it all on top of them, put uh, some, cut slice up lemons and lay them on top of that, put them in there and bake them. And, uh, it's actually really good.